Well, five weeks ago, students across South Florida left school only to later learn that they would not be returning to finish the year. CBS 4's Joan Murray is in Pompano Beach, where she spoke to Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcy about the fallout from the coronavirus crisis. As he loads needy families up on breakfast and lunch, now offered Monday and Wednesday, Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcy is unpacking details of the South Florida education fallout from the coronavirus crisis. Property taxes, we anticipate those are going to take a hit. School systems are going to see revenue shortfalls in the range of 15 to 20 to 25 percent, unless there's federal intervention and funds to offset some of those losses. As for that loss of face-to-face -face learning, the superintendent said 91 percent of kids are going to class online every day in Broward. But we know that there are students out there, one, who have not engaged or they're not engaging um, regularly and consistently. Um, so we're having our school administrators, our social workers, and our family counselors calling reaching out on a daily basis. Parents told us online learning has its challenges. April Coxham has nine children and works full time. Go from one computer to the next computer to the next computer and then send out emails and trying to be a teacher when that's something that you're not good at. Another adjustment, the class of 2020 will not walk across the stage. Virtual Broward Public High School graduations will be streamed online in June. Should circumstances change at some point, we will certainly move forward and hold live graduations to the extent that there's demand for it and students are still around and we can put those on. And parents don't despair just yet about the future of summer camp. Absolutely going to have summer programs. What they will look like at this moment, I can't tell you. The superintendent said he tells his staff never waste a good crisis. So a lot of this book is being written over the summer, exactly what the next school year is going to look like. In Pompano Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.